Butrint, the Illyrian city. Butrint, Albanian, Butrint, Greek, Beta Omicron Upsilon Theta Rho Omega Tau Nu and Beta Omicron Upsilon Theta Rho Omega Tau, Latin, Bufrodum, is a site of great historical and archaeological significance located in Vlore County, Albania. This ancient settlement has a rich and diverse history, starting as a Greek polis and evolving into a Roman city. It also served as the seat of an early Christian bishopric in the region. Originally founded by the Greek tribe of the Chaunians, Butrent later became a part of the state of Epirus and eventually a Roman colonia and a bishopric. However, it went through a period of decline during late antiquity and was largely abandoned during the Middle Ages following a devastating earthquake that resulted in the flooding of much of the city. In the modern era, Butrent is an important archaeological site, situated approximately 14 kilometers south of Sarand, near the Greek border. The city is perched on a hill overlooking the Vivari Channel and is now within the boundaries of the Butrent National Park. The site is not only known for its historical significance but also for its natural beauty. Butrent holds UNESCO World Heritage status, a testament to its immense cultural and historical value. It was granted this status in 1992 and later designated a national park in 2000, under the leadership of its first director, Oren Ter. The site also features the Ali Pasha Castle and is considered one of the most important archaeological locations in Albania. History Prehistory The earliest evidence of settled occupation at Butrent dates back to the 10th and 8th centuries BC, with some claims suggesting even earlier habitation dating from the 12th century BC, 8, citation needed. Ancient Greek period, excavations at Buthraton, known as Butrent today, have revealed Proto-Corinthian pottery from the 7th century BC, followed by Corinthian and Attic pottery from the 6th century BC. Buthraton was strategically located due to its access to the Straits of Corfu and its position at the crossroads of mainland Greece and Magna Graecia, bridging the Greek and barbarian worlds. It was one of the primary centers of the Epiro tribe of the Chaunians and had close ties to the Corinthian colony of Corsera, modern Corfu. Legend has it that the seer Hellenus, a son of King Priam of Troy, founded Buthraton after the fall of Troy, accompanied by Neoptolemus and Andromache. Even Aeneas from the Trojan War was said to have visited Buthraton. The city's acropolis was built on the bank of Lake Butrent, or Lake Buthrotum, with its first expansion occurring in the 5th century BC. During the early years of the Second Peloponnesian War, 413-404 BC, the Corinthians constructed fortifications extending from Xamil to Buthrotum. Eventually, Buthrotum, once an independent city, came under the control of nearby Corfu. By the 4th century BC, the city had grown significantly and included a theater, a sanctuary dedicated to Asclepius, and an agora. The Acropolis was protected by three circuit walls, with the outermost one constructed around 380 BC, enclosing an area of four hectares. It featured bastions and five gates, with the scene and lion gates being among the most important. The Agora, Stoas, the residential zone, and the theater were situated within a separate walled area. Various inscriptions in Buthrotum describe the organization of the Chaunians in the early 3rd century BC, revealing that they had an annual leader known as the Prostates, Greek, Pyro Omicron Sigma Tau Tau Eta Protector. The Greek calendar of Buthraton even appears in the Antikythera Mechanism, one of the oldest known analog computers, dating from around 150 to 100 BC. The theater is notable for the numerous inscriptions on its stones, most of which pertain to manumissions and provide extensive details about the city during the Hellenistic era. The names of these liberated slaves were primarily Greek, with a few exceptions bearing Latin family names. In 228 BC, Buthrotum became a Roman protectorate alongside Corfu. By the mid-2nd century BC, it became the center of an independent state, possibly known as the Koinon of the Perseboi, as listed in the Theorodokoi at the Oracle of Delphi. Ancient Roman period, in the following century, Buthrotum became part of a Macedonian province. In 44 BC, Julius Caesar designated Buthrotum as a colony to reward soldiers who had fought for him against Pompey. Local landholder Titus Pomponio's Atticus objected to this plan, which was lobbied against in the Senate by Cicero. Consequently, only a small number of colonists were settled in the area. In 31 BC, Roman Emperor Augustus, fresh from his victory over Mark Antony and Cleopatra at the Battle of Actium, renewed the plan to establish Buthrotum as a colony for veterans. 
new residents led to the expansion of the city, with the construction of an aqueduct, Roman bath, houses, a forum complex, and an amphium. During this time, the city's size doubled. Many new structures were added near existing ones, particularly around the theater and the temple of Asclepios. In the 3rd century AD, a significant earthquake destroyed a large portion of the town, causing the leveling of buildings in the suburbs on the Vrina Plain and the Forum in the city center. Excavations have uncovered signs of the city's decline. Nonetheless, Butrin survived into late antiquity, becoming a major port in the province of Old Epirus. The town during the late antique era included the Grand Triconch Palace and the house of a prominent local figure, constructed around 425. Byzantine and possible Slavic period, in the late 5th century, the city walls of Butrin were extensively rebuilt, likely under the rule of Byzantine Emperor Anastasius. However, the Ionian coast faced attacks by the Ostrogoths under Indulf in 550, which might have impacted Buthrodum. By the end of the 6th century, groups of Slavs possibly arrived at Buthrodum. Despite the challenging times, evidence from excavations indicates that the importation of goods like wine and oil from the eastern Mediterranean continued into the early 7th century, even as the early Byzantine Empire began losing control of these provinces. In an era marked by Slavic invasions and population movements in the broader region, Butrin stood out as one of the few cities in Epirus that not only survived but also maintained its status as a bishopric without interruption. The historical records are sparse, making it difficult to determine whether Buthrodos was controlled by Slavs or Byzantines from the 7th to the 10th centuries. Byzantine sources from that time mention St. Elias of Enna being detained as a spy in Buthrodos, while Arsenios of Corfu, 876-953, noted the marine wealth of the town. Several significant monuments stand as testament to this era, including the Grand Basilica of Buthrodom, 6th century, the Acropolic Basilica, 4th century, the Triconch Palace, 6th century, the Baptistry with a large, intricate mosaic, 6th century, the Late Gate Church, 9th century, and the Baptistry Church, 9th century. Colonization efforts by the Byzantine authorities seem to have intensified during the reign of Leo VI, 886 to 912. It is suggested that imperial administrators of the time governed the region from the Oikos, Greek, Omicron Kappa Omicron, residents, in the Vrina Plain rather than from the citadel. Archaeological evidence becomes more substantial in the 10th century. Inventories of bishoprics from the 10th to 12th centuries show that the Bishop of Butrent was subject to the Metropolitan Bishopric of Naupactos, part of the ecclesiastical province named after the ancient provincial capital of Nicopolis. In the 12th century, the Arab traveler Muhammad al Idrisi observed that Buthrodom was a densely populated city with numerous markets. Butrent remained a Byzantine outpost, resisting assaults from the Normans, until 1204 when, following the Fourth Crusade, the Byzantine Empire disintegrated. Butrant then became part of the breakaway despotate of Epirus. Over the following centuries, the region witnessed conflicts involving the Byzantines, the Angevins of southern Italy, and the Venetians. Between Angevins, Byzantine Empire, and despotate of Epirus, the fortifications of Butrant were likely reinforced during the rule of Byzantine Emperor Michael I. In 1267, Charles of Anjou gained control over both Butrant and Corfu, leading to further restoration of the city walls and the Grand Basilica. In 1274, Byzantine forces re-entered Butrant, sparking tensions between the Byzantines and the despotate of Epirus, as despot Nikoporos considered the site part of his domain. Despite profound religious differences between the Catholic Charles of Anjou and the staunchly Orthodox Nikoporos, they united against Byzantine Emperor Michael and jointly expelled the Byzantines from the area in 1278. Pressured by Charles, Nikoporos eventually acknowledged Charles's rights to all the territories that Michael II had awarded to Manfred of Hohenstaufen as part of his wife Helen's dowry. Charles, as Michael's successor, received Butrant as well as the entire Acrosoranian coast from Vlora to Butrant. As part of the Angevin Regnum Albania, from 1284, Byzantine Emperor Andronikos II held control over most of what is present-day Albania, while Angevin control on the Balkan mainland was limited to Butrinto. The city formed a single administrative unit together with nearby Corfu. Throughout the 14th century, Butrin shared a similar fate with Corfu. It remained under Angevin rule until 1386, with only two brief interruptions in 1306 and 1313 to 1331. In 1305 to 1306, 
it was briefly controlled by the despot of Epirus, Thomas I Comnenos Daucus. After being conquered by the Angevins, Butrant became Catholic and remained so throughout the 14th century. During this period, the defensive investment in Butrant as a town was sporadic. This suggests that it still had an active urban population, even though no urban dwellings had been identified at the time. Dwellings were likely concentrated on the slopes of the northern citadel. The Orthodox bishopric was transferred to nearby Glyke in 1337 or 1338. The town decreased in size toward the end of the 14th century due to regional unrest. Between Venice and the Ottoman Empire, the Republic of Venice acquired the area, including Corfu, from the Angevins in 1386. However, Venetian interests were primarily focused on Corfu, leading to a decline in Butrinto. By 1572, wars between Venice and the Ottoman Empire had left Butrinto in ruins, and the Acropolis was abandoned. The administration of Butrinto and its surroundings was shifted to a small triangular fortress at the order of Domenico Foscarini, the Venetian commander of Corfu. The area was lightly settled thereafter and was occasionally seized by the Ottoman Turks in 1655 and 1718, only to be recaptured by the Venetians. The region's fisheries played a crucial role in supplying Corfu, while olive cultivation, cattle, and timber were the main economic activities. In 1797, under the Treaty of Campo Formio, Butrinto and other former Venetian enclaves in Albania came under French sovereignty. In 1799, the local Ottoman governor Ali Pasha Tiplina conquered Butrinto, and it became part of the Ottoman Empire until Albania gained independence in 1912. During the Ottoman rule in Epirus, the inhabitants of Butrint consistently supported Greek revolutionary activities. Modern Albania, in 1913, after the conclusion of the First Balkan War, Butrint was ceded to Greece. However, Italy contested the decision. In the Treaty of London, the region was awarded to the newly established Albania. Butrint was situated near the southern border of the newly formed Albanian state in an area primarily inhabited by Greek speakers. This caused discontent among the local Greek population, leading to the creation of an autonomous republic of northern Epirus, which lasted for six months before reluctantly being ceded to Albania. Italian peacekeeping forces ensured peace in the region until 1919. Italy opposed the decision as it did not want Greece to control both sides of the Straits of Corfu. Ecclesiastical History Residential bishopric In the early 6th century, Buthrodum became the seat of a bishopric. New construction included the Buthrodum Baptistry, one of the largest Paleo-Christian buildings of its type, and a basilica. The Diocese of Buthrodum was initially a suffragan of the metropolis of Nicopolis, the metropolitan capital of Epirus Vetus, under papal jurisdiction. However, in the 9th and 10th centuries, it is listed as a suffragan of Naupactos, which succeeded the ruined Nicopolis as the provincial capital and metropolis of the new Byzantine theme of Nicopolis. This brought it under the authority of the Byzantine Patriarchate of Constantinople. After the 14th century, it came under the jurisdiction of the metropolis of Ioannina. Two of its Byzantine bishops are mentioned in extant documents. Step Hainus, who signed a joint letter from the bishops of Epirus Vetus to Emperor Leo I the Thracian in 458, following the killing of Patriarch Proterius of Alexandria. Matthias, who signed a synodal letter from the bishops of the province to Pope Hormistas in 516 regarding the ordination of Metropolitan John of Nicopolis. Latin residential bishopric, a Latin see was established around 1250 under the Italian name Butrinto. It operated under Angevin and Venetian rule but was suppressed around 1400. The 6th century basilica was rebuilt by King Charles I of Naples in 1267. Known Latin bishops Nicola, O.P., February 15, 1311 Nicola, O.P., May 23, 1311 Nicola de Offida, O.F.M., June 15, 1349 Francesco Arnaldo Simone February 13, 1355 Giacomo, O.P., October 12, 1356. Lazzarino, O.F.M., February 9, 1366. Catholic titular see, Buthrodum is currently listed by the Catholic Church as a Latin titular see since the diocese was nominally restored in 1933. The following titular bishops have been appointed. Louis Bertrand Tyrolli, S.S.C.C. 
November 16, 1953, June 21, 1966, as the last apostolic vicar of Marquesas Islands. George Frendo, July 7, 2006 to November 17, 2016, O.P., as Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Tirana, Duras, Albania, and Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference of Albania, May 5, 2016. Friar Giovanni Salonia, OFM Cap, October 2, 2017, resigned April 27, 2017, as Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Palermo. Zdenek Wasserbauer, asterisk June 16, 1965, as Auxiliary Bishop of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Prague, since May 19, 2018. Archaeological Excavations The modern archaeological excavations at Butrent began in 1928 when an Italian expedition led by archaeologist Luigi Maria Ugolini was sent by Mussolini's fascist government. While the expedition had political motives to extend Italian influence in the region, it also yielded significant archaeological findings. Ugolini led the excavations until his death in 1936, and work continued until 1943, interrupted by World War II. During this period, they unearthed the Hellenistic and Roman portions of the city, including notable landmarks like the Lion Gate and the Skian Gate, named after the famous gate at Troy mentioned in the Homeric Iliad. After the communist government of Enver Hoxha took control of Albania in 1944, foreign archaeological missions were banned. Albanian archaeologists, led by individuals like Hassan Sika, continued the excavations. In 1959, Nikita Khrushchev visited the ruins and suggested to Hoxha that the area should be turned into a submarine base. In the 1970s, the Albanian Institute of Archaeology initiated larger-scale excavations. Significant progress was made after 1993 when major excavations were conducted by the Butrin Foundation in collaboration with the Albanian Institute of Archaeology. Recent excavations in the western defenses of the city have revealed evidence of the continued use of the walls, indicating the city's continued existence. The walls themselves appear to have burnt down in the 9th century but were subsequently repaired. Following the collapse of the communist regime in 1992, the new democratic government proposed various major developments at the site. In the same year, Butrin was included in UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. However, a political and economic crisis in 1997, along with significant lobbying efforts, led to the abandonment of an airport construction project, but UNESCO placed Butrant on the list of world heritage in danger due to issues such as looting, lack of protection, management, and conservation. Archaeological missions conducted from 1994 to 1999 uncovered additional Roman villas and an early Christian church. In 2004, Archaeological excavations continued under the leadership of Principal Investigator David R. Hernandez. Directions The site of Butrant is accessible from Sarand, reachable by a road first constructed in 1959 for a visit by the Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. However, in the summer of 2010, the road was upgraded, although this construction was seen as an environmental concern and could potentially threaten Butrant's World Heritage Site status. The ancient city has become a popular tourist destination, attracting day trippers from the nearby Greek holiday island of Corfu. Visitors from Corfu can reach Butrin via hydrofoils, 30 minutes, or ferries, 90 minutes, between the new port in Corfu town and Saranda. Tourists often use chartered coach services from Saran to visit Butrin. Additionally, there is a regular public bus service between Saran port and Butrin. Other visitors may arrive from the Cape Boat border crossing with Greece near Kanispal and cross the Vivari Channel via the cable ferry at Butrant. References Butrant. Ramsar Sites Information Service. Retrieved April 25, 2018. Step Heinous of Byzantium, Ethnica, 0709.1. Borza, Eugene N., 1992. In the Shadow of Olympus, The Emergence of Macedon. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press. Crew, P. Mack, 1982. The Cambridge Ancient History, The Expansion of the Greek World, 8th to 6th Centuries BC, Part 3, Volume 3. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. UNESCO. Butrant, whc.unesco.org. Sika, Nariton, Translation Pranvera Zelo, 2002. 
Bufrodum, its history and monuments. Tirana, Setis Tirana. Hammond, NGL, 1994. Philip of Macedon. London, UK, Duckworth. The Cambridge Ancient History, Volume 3, Part 3, The Expansion of the Greek World, 8th to 6th Centuries BC, Cambridge University Press. David R. Hernandez, Bethrodos, Butrant, in the Archaic and Classical Periods, The Acropolis and Temple of Athena Polias, Hesperia, The Journal of the American School of Classical Studies at Athens, Volume 86, No. 2, April June 2017. Cabanes, P. 1997. The Growth of the Cities. Epirus, 4000 Years of Greek History and Civilization. Strabo. The Geography. Book 7, Chapter 7.5. Boardman, John, 1994. The Cambridge Ancient History, the 4th Century BC. Ioanna, Andrea, 1997. Urban Organization. Epirus, 4000 Years of Greek History and Civilization. Hansen, Inga Lice, Hodges, Richard, Leopard, Sarah, 2013. Butrant 4, The Archaeology and Histories of an Ionian Town. Lala, Atleva, 2008. Regnum Albanii. Hodges, Richard, Bowden, William, Laco, Costa, February 28, 2020. Byzantine Butrant, Excavations and Surveys 1994-99. Fleming, K. E., July 14, 2014. The Muslim Bonaparte, Diplomacy and Orientalism in Ali Pasha's Greece.